You've had enough, Frieza. I'll show you mercy if you promise not to cause trouble in the universe again. Frieza nodded weakly, as he was filled with anger, acknowledging his defeat before Goku's overwhelming power. I'm retiring for now, but rest assured, I'll be back stronger than ever. With a nod of approval, Goku walked away from his defeated opponent, knowing he had done the right thing by showing mercy. For that reason, Goku would simply return to his normal mode, as he had made it clear to Frieza that it was not worth continuing. But when Goku turned his back on him to leave with Broly and the others, Frieza would look at him in frustration due to the fact that he felt humiliated like never before, and all he wanted was to get back at him. Don't you dare turn your back on me, Goku! I'm not done with you yet! Frieza roared in fury and mustering all his remaining energy. He launched his supernova attack at the Saiyan from behind. But Goku was prepared and reacted with a quick move, deflecting his enemy's attack with ease into the sky, making it explode in midair. Haven't you learned anything, Frieza? No matter how many times you face me, you can never match my power. Goku would quickly grab Frieza by the arm in order to immobilize him and prevent him from attacking again. Frieza growled in frustration as he tried to break free from Goku's grip, but the Saiyan was too powerful to be overcome. With one swift move, Goku threw his foe to the ground and pinned him with a foot to the chest. Listen, Frieza, I've already defeated you once. Give up and leave me alone. Frieza spat some blood with contempt, while his face showed the anger and frustration he felt. I'll never give up, Goku! I promise I'll get revenge for this humiliation! Goku sighed with resignation, knowing that there was no way to reason with his enemy. Because of that, he made a quick move, hitting Frieza in the weak spot, knocking him unconscious on the ground. I'm sorry, Frieza, but it seems you have no intention of learning from your mistakes. With one last look at his defeated opponent, Goku would turn around and return to Broly and the others, as Frieza was no longer a threat. After the confrontation with Black Frieza, Goku would finally return to Broly and the others, so that they could resume their conversation. Although, to tell the truth, they were still quite surprised by the power Goku had shown during the fight with Frieza. What was that all about, Goku? I don't remember you having a power like that when you fought Broly on Earth. Let's say some things happened, but I'll tell you in detail later. This place isn't safe if Frieza is around. How about if I take you somewhere else? Sure, that's fine with me. Anyway, any place is better than this uninhabited planet. Alright, then put your hands on my shoulders. I know where we're going. Everyone would follow Goku's directions and grab him by the shoulder, as he planned to teleport to take them with him to a place where they could be calmer, because Goku wanted to face Broly without holding back. So with a quick gesture, he quickly teleported to the planet of Beerus. In just an instant, Goku and Broly were already standing in the lush landscape of the planet of Beerus, where the majestic palace of the god could be seen in the distance. But besides that, in front of them was Beerus, because Goku had to feel his energy to be able to reach that place. His presence would surprise Broly and the others, since it was the first time they had met the god of destruction. On the other hand, Beerus was also quite surprised by Goku's sudden visit, since he was eating with Whis at that moment. But beyond that, both Whis and Beerus could feel a great change in Goku's power, a rather overwhelming one. What are you doing here? I told you before that this is not a hotel to be bringing so many people. More importantly, what have you done, Goku? Why does your key feel different than usual? Mr. Beerus is right. You look quite different, Goku. Well, now that we are all gathered, I think it would be appropriate to tell you everything that happened. At that point, Goku would proceed to tell them everything that had happened during his visit to the Time Room, letting them know that he had trained for billions of years. But since the workings of the Time Room had been altered, he had not aged at all, nor had he spent hardly any time outside. On top of all that, Goku took the opportunity to introduce them to Broly and his friends, so that they could get to know each other. Although, to tell the truth, Beerus had taken an interest in Chile, as he somehow found her attractive. After all the explanations, Beerus and Whis would be analyzing what had happened. I think I understand what you just told them. That would explain why your energy is quite different from what you had recently. I am intrigued to know how powerful you have become after that hard training. Same here. I'd like to see for myself if you've finally become a formidable opponent. Sure, but right now I'd like to demonstrate my strength with Broly, since that's why I brought him to this place. Is that guy named Broly really strong enough to fight you? That's right, he's very strong. I don't think you've seen him in action, 
but believe me, he's worth it. That's why I want to have a fight against him. Very well. Then I will allow you to fight on my planet. I think we'd better get to safety. This will be disastrous. I think the same as you. This will get very intense. After finishing their talk, Beerus and the others would move aside a little so that Goku and Broly could start their fight. Besides, Beerus would also be in charge of placing a protective barrier in order to protect Broly's friends. Meanwhile, Goku and Broly were ready to begin and were in combat position. Okay, Broly, this is where we'll test our limits. Yes, Goku, I'm ready to show all my power. Just at that moment, Beerus and the others were watching their moves, as they were very intrigued to see the new scope of Goku's powers. So he watched them with curiosity and surprise. Goku and Broly prepared for combat, each focusing their energy and determination, causing the plates to start shaking from the intensity of their powers. And with a battle cry, the two began to exchange punches and kicks with incredible speed and ferocity. Come on, Broly! Show me everything you've got! Alright, here I come! The blows continued to echo throughout the place, being too fast for the eyes of Broly's friends, but the ones who caught a glimpse of them were Beerus and Whis. The ground shook under the impact of their attacks, as Goku and Broly clashed with relentless intensity. The others only watched in awe as the two warriors displayed their incredible strength and skill on the battlefield. Impressive. I've never seen such fierce combat on my planet. Looks like Goku and Broly are fighting with everything they've got. It will be interesting to see who emerges as the victor. Meanwhile, Goku and Broly continued to trade punches and blocks with incredible speed. Both were determined to outdo the other and prove their supremacy as warriors. Incredible, Broly! It looks like you've improved a little since the last time we met! But enough of warming up! We have to use all our power! I hope you know what you're doing, because there'll be no turning back if I use all my strength. With a cry of exertion, Broly channeled all of his energy into a devastating attack, unleashing a blast of dazzling energy that he sent towards where Goku was standing. However, the Saiyan quickly countered with a powerful Kamehameha, causing a powerful burst of energy in the air. As the smoke began to dissipate in the sky, Goku emerged without any fatigue, as he had just demonstrated his strength. Don't worry, Broly. You can trust me to stop you. You can fight with everything you've got. So go ahead. All right, then get ready. Broly at that instant would begin to raise his energy rapidly, enveloping himself in a great green aura, which was extremely intense. At that instant, Broly was accumulating all his power to transform, as he needed to become more enraged to unleash all his strength. And in just an instant, he would unleash all his power and transform into his legendary form, emanating overwhelming power across the entire planet of Beerus. In fact, the God of Destruction would be shocked to see Broly's power, as he could not believe that a Saiyan would have such power without accessing divine forms like the Super Saiyan God. Who knew that Goku was right? That guy is really powerful, much more than when Goku transformed into God Phase the first time. He's right, although it seems like he doesn't have control over that transformation. You can see how his power overflows. It only remains for us to see what Goku will do. Once Broly had transformed, Goku was so excited that he also channeled all his energy to show everyone his new transformation, so you could see his aura glowing with an incredible intensity that lit up the battlefield. His eyes glowed with a fierce determination as he prepared to show his true power. Now I will show you the result of my training. At that instant, Goku unleashed his full power, transforming once again into his new divine form. His energy was overwhelming, much more than Broly's even, so much so that the ground shook beneath his feet. At that moment, Beerus and Whis watched in awe, impressed by Goku's power and determination. One could even say that it was terrifying. It's impossible. In his base form, he had already exceeded my expectations. But what does this new form mean? It seems that he has taken the Ultra Instinct to another level by combining it with his Saiyan instincts. But I never thought he would look so imposing. While they were surprised, Broly at that instant would launch himself with all his anger against Goku, launching a powerful blow of his legendary form. Goku at that instant decided to stop him with his hand, causing there to be a powerful clash between Goku and Broly. During the impact, it could be seen that Goku had stopped Broly's punch with only one hand. Besides that, he had not had to make any effort. In spite of that, Broly would continue attacking without any rest, since he had a lot of energy in his legendary form. His attacks resounded in the air, 
while Goku was in charge of blocking each of his attacks, creating a symphony of destruction and power that shook the planet of Beerus. Broly, even though he was at a disadvantage, would not stop attacking, as in that legendary form he was totally filled with rage. The battlefield became a whirlpool of energy and power, with the two warriors unleashing their full potential in an effort to gain victory. Even if Broly was giving his all, he couldn't land a single hit against Goku, as the difference in strength was tremendous. That's why he began to gather a large amount of energy to create a massive sphere, as he planned to attack Goku with all his power. 